Freekeen.com. And that's how it looks from the front. Since most of my sort of public activism and YouTubing and so forth has been post-2003, you tend to just hear me talking about U.S. military action in a negative light. That's because pretty much all the U.S. military action since 2003 has been negative in more ways than just the usual. But if you were to transport back into the 90s or the 80s, you would have met a Ridley who was much more supportive of U.S. military activity and the U.S. mission in the world, if there was one. The fact is... I didn't really change that much. I still feel pretty much sympathetic in some ways toward the U.S. mission in World War One, in World War Two, in Korea, in the Cold War, the Gulf War, the Bosnian War, and the Kosovo conflict. Yes, of course, there is and was a problem with all those endeavors being funded with tax dollars. And yes, that did result in the government doing things that an accountable government wouldn't have done. The participation in the firebombing of Dresden, for example. But by and large, you saw the local people welcoming the United States to a large extent in most of these conflicts. That's what changed around 2002. Wave after wave of bombers roared across the channel, battling on their way the enemy aircraft that darted after them like deadly wasps. In 1944, you could argue that a bombing raid over Arnhem or Rotterdam was at least tolerated by, by a majority of Dutch. You could argue that a 1995 airstrike on Pale would have been well that would not have <laughs> that would not have been welcomed by the people who were in Pali at the time i don't remember if they bombed Pali or not but uh, uh Pali, Pali was uh, the, uh, the capital of the sort of serbian militias that were running wild around bosnia doing the rape camp thing and the genocidal this is and that's but you can argue that it was at least it was in bosnia and it appears that a majority of people in Bosnia did want the U.S. doing that, or something along those lines. Uh, same thing over Pristina. If, 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 if the feds raided Pristina uh, in Kosovo, well, it's, it's almost impossible to argue that a majority of, of people in Kosovo did not want military intervention from the United States. They absolutely wanted it. Whatever bad things may have happened or not happened, you know, over the last hundred years in the places that the Americans have gone, in many, many cases, people were glad to have them there. We're glad to even be subjected to bombing if it meant getting rid of whatever else was going on at the time. France, uh, Holland, uh, Germany all dramatically better off after U.S. intervention in World War II. Bosnia, better off now than it was during the war. You know, who would have imagined that uh, Sarajevo, over the last five or ten years, I think has a lower murder rate than Colorado Springs? Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? Freekeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keene. While Keene may have the largest number of liberty-oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit Freekeen.com to see what's happening. Freekeen.com hooks you up with all the liberty media in town. Join the Keen Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keene, New Hampshire from the clutches of the government. Freekeen.com